What is up guys, it is Jay, I am here again talking about Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm 4. On today's topic, we're going to be talking about stage changes and how that may or may not be able to work as a mechanic in the upcoming game. Uh, since it's been going around a little bit, that using certain elemental attacks in Storm 4 increase the power of your attacks. So, uh, for an example, if you're using Zabuza and you're playing on a water stage and standing on top of water, Using the Water Dragon Jutsu has allegedly, uh, it hasn't been confirmed yet, um, makes your attack bigger. Uh, not sure if it makes it stronger or if it makes it faster or anything, but it does increase the uh, increase the hitbox. Um, also, another thing that has been going around is there's a lot of speculation that Kaguya, one of the brand new characters to the game, uh, is able to change stages mid-battle. Now, these two aspects kind of lead me to think that stage changes is going to be a very big part of this game. Um, and we've already been kind of confirmed but not confirmed that wall running is a thing. I don't think that we're going to get wall running. I don't think that's going to be something that's going to be a feature in free battle. Um, but I do think, uh, if you guys recall, going back to Storm 1, the animation where you punch somebody in the face and they end up on the wall, I think uh, that same animation could be implemented in this game as a stage changer. Um, so let me explain. Uh, basically, the way it works is um, uh, anyway, say you're staying, you're playing on the Hidden Leaf Village stage, uh, and you hit your opponent out of the ring. So in previous Storm games, hitting them out of the ring has killed them. Uh, instantaneously you lose the match and then of course in later versions I think it was in storm 2 that it, they implemented that yeah because it was the it was the ravine level and if you got knocked out uh, you would die uh, in later editions like storm 3 and storm revolution if you got knocked outside of the ring you would just pop back in the middle of the ring uh, you'd fall get knocked down or whatever and some chakra balls would pop out of you anyway so you'd lose chakra and you'd lose a piece of health um, I think that same thing could be implemented with, you know, changing stages, and uh, it'll be it'll be a, a real dynamic, especially considering one of the characters allegedly is able to change the stage of the game. Now, say once again you're playing as Zabuza, but you're fighting at the Hidden Leaf Village, and you knock your opponent into the next area, which is going to be like the training field or a different part of the Hidden Leaf Village. Let's say for the purpose of this video, it's going to be the training field. So you knock your enemy over into the training field, and you guys know the training field has like rocks and a, like a little lake area. Uh, so now you have an advantage because of the water. So that that definitely plays as a as a uh, balancing factor, at least in my in my opinion. You guys post a comment, and let me know what you think. In my opinion, it's a balancing factor because a lot of the characters are already unbalanced in the game. Uh, but this would definitely help because if you're uh, using Sasuke, and of course Sas Sasuke's nature is uh, lightning, you're using lightning style on a water stage, you can electrocute your enemy and, um, you know, through the water. Now, to completely avoid that, say you're using an Earth's, you know, like uh, somebody who uses Earth style, um, and there's not a whole lot of rock terrain, like there's mostly water. And the only way to really counteract Sasuke is to get him off of the water. But since there's none in this current field, you should be able to knock him over into somewhere else. Like if you're playing on the Final Valley. Of course, it's the same scenario um, where the Final Valley has always had this weird platform in the middle of, you know, the, you know, the actual valley. Um, now, let's say you knock him on top of the rocks. So it's nothing but rocks with like a little bit of water. So now you, you have the advantage using your Earth style. So... Um, that's kind of what I was thinking. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Um, in my opinion, like I said, I think it's really going to help balance out the game. It'll definitely be some a, a dynamic that will help move the game a little bit faster too. Because um, you're going to want to avoid the edges. Especially for a lot of characters who are smash down heavy and so far Storm 4 has seemed like it's a very offensive game. 
Um, if you get knocked over into the into another area, it could either benefit you or it could hurt you dramatically. Um, so once again, let me know what you guys think. Post in the comments below. Anyway, also, don't forget to like today's video if you guys actually liked it. Make sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel. I got a bunch of stuff coming. And make sure to share this with all of your friends, every single one, not just the anime fans or anything like that. Um, share it with everybody because I really want uh, CC2 and Namco Bandai to really kind of like, and, and, and like listen to the feedback that the community is, you know, giving. So far, they've done a really good job of that, and I'm very, very proud of them. I didn't think... I never thought that they would take into consideration a lot of the stuff that we want to see for the game. Um, I've got another couple of videos coming up for you guys, so stay tuned. This has been Jay, and I'll catch you guys next time. Make sure to keep it canon.